What's Yo. up, bro? How are you doing, my bro? How are you doing, bro? Hey, man. How are you? Good, 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 good. Thank you so much for doing this with us. Oh, no problem. No, no problem. Yeah. So, guys, if you're joining us, um, this is History in the Making, Mass Physique Updates, very first live video with none other than IFBB Pro, Emmanuel Hunter. And if you don't know by now, he will be competing in two weeks at the Arnold Classic. So I'm so pumped for this interview. Uh, thank you guys so much. And thank you, Emmanuel, once again for, for joining us. Oh, no problem, man. I'm, I'm excited for it. Yeah, so first of all, um, I would like to know, I know you've been dieting for weeks. How are you feeling? I'm actually uh, feeling pretty good, man. I like to tell people all the time, like, it's a, it's a mindset. I mean, you know you're tired. You know what you're about to get into. So you should be prepared for what you're about to get into. So don't just go into it and thinking, hey, man, I'm about to go in and kill it. Hey, this stuff is it's intense. It's, it's tough. So if you ain't got the mindset for it, don't don't come in here thinking like you just finna just it's gonna be a breeze, man. This ain't it's not for everybody. So like I said, it's a mindset. You choose how you feel. I mean, I choose to feel good today, you know. Good, good. That's a very good uh, answer. So uh, I would like you to formally introduce yourself to the audience. Tell us about yourself and uh, yes, just basically a little bit about yourself. Um. All right, guys. Uh, I'm Emmanuel Hunter. I'm from Alabama. Um, born and raised here in Alabama. Um, 29 years old. Um, I picked up bodybuilding about four years ago. Uh, one of my friends asked me to compete, and I was like, All right, I'll try it out, man. And got bit by the bug and went from there. But yeah, man, I'm I'm homegrown Alabama, dude. So, like, but, anything um, ask. why why did you choose Mass Physique? Because there's, you know, classic uh, physique. Dress. Yeah, I mean, I I feel like um I feel like men's physique is a, is a, like a stepping stone to like the other divisions. Like I don't know my um. I don't want to say my future in the sport, it will be classic or getting like that, but I just enjoy. So that's okay. why I and, um, speak. I think your, your audio is a little, I don't know, it went off a little bit. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man, I said, like I said, uh, men's physique, um, I like like men's physique, but like I say, I think it's more of a stepping stone of going into the other divisions. But it, okay. it gotten very competitive, so you, now it's it's kind of hard to to think about going to the next level. You know who you got to compete against at that at in classic, you know, or even going to two twelve. Yeah, but do you think uh, men's physique is getting the props or the attention it deserves? Uh, somewhat social media wise, I think we are getting a lot of attention. Um, I think the game is changing a little bit, you know, um, I think the face of the sport would be men's physique and classic physique before you know it, you know, men, men's wise. But I, like I said, I, I don't, I think we should get put on, not put on the pedestal of where big guys are, but I think we should be right up there next to them, you know? I definitely agree. So when when did you turn pro? I turned pro in um, 2018 at, at Junior USA's in, in South Carolina. Okay. And um, tell us a little bit about your competition history and then the placings in those uh, competitions. Uh, preferably maybe uh, last year. Oh, uh, yeah. Last year, man. Last year was kind of a roller coaster for me, man. I mean, I, I started off at the Houston Pro. Uh, I played six. Um, it was a it was a good show, good competitive show, man. I I think that I was just getting my feet wet at that show, and then the, the following week I went to uh, Arizona. I placed fifth at Arizona. Nobody knew me out there, so I just tried to bring the best package I could bring, and went out there and I placed fifth. And then I went to Pittsburgh, and uh, placed fifth there. You know that's one of the biggest shows in the world. Huge. Pittsburgh yeah. is, you know, Huge. then following. Following week after that, man, I went into New York Pro and got my best place of the year. And that's at uh, I placed fourth at New York Pro. And that's then, huge as well. Yeah, it's one. <laughs> I try to tell people, man, like 
I competed at some really big shows, and I, I mean, you don't get top five at these no. shows like that, man. And then I competed in uh, Louisiana. I don't know what went on. I think that was one of my best packages at that show. I don't know. I'm, I'm not judging myself. Um, then I went to Texas and competed there, too, and placed six at that show. Uh, and I don't know what was going on. I had a lot of stuff going on personally with the family and all, but so I just took a break. I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a break and, and shoot my shot for this show that's coming up here soon. Yeah. Well, the best thing is you stayed uh, in the top 10, you know? I Last did. year, you stayed in the top 10, maybe top eight, maybe top seven. You know, you 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 did really good last year. So, uh, good job and congratulations for you know your achievement last year. And I wanted to know what is the plan for this year. What would you hope to achieve by the end of the year? I mean, you know, the the, the big goal is to get to the big dance, man. Get to the Olympia, you know, and, and place good there. Just not get to Olympia, you know. You gotta you you want to win it, you know. That's that's the thing. You want to get there and place better. Get get win win the show. But you know, and that's it's gonna be tough. But like I I said before, like you don't want to get into this sport and just do the very minimum. If you're gonna do it, do it all out, you know. Okay. So, so yeah, man, I I want I'm gonna compete at the Arnold. Uh, then I'm gonna go into Boston, and then um, I get with my coaches and see what we have next after these two shows back to back weeks. Yeah, talk about um, coaches. I know you you switched coaches, you changed coaches uh, recently. So tell me, what are you doing differently? with this new coach. Tell us about the coach and what are you doing differently in, in this prep that you think you haven't done in the past and what do you think is going to, uh, this new this new coach is going to help you achieve at the Arnold's in, in, in the next two weeks or at the Boston, Boston Pro in three weeks? Yeah, so like, I mean, I love my old coach, man. He's like a big brother to me. Uh, I mean, he, he taught me everything I needed to know before he turned me pro, you know. I mean, I did shows, I placed well with him. But uh, I needed more, you know, um, and so I went and I went with unchanged physiques. You know, Mike, Mike and Dom been helping me out a lot, man. It's like they taking more of a science, more of a science approach with it. I never even thought thought of it that way. I mean, I thought of it just basic diet, you know, do what you need to do, work out hard, get plenty of sleep. But it's so much more than that, man. Like, and what they got me on right now, man, is the plan is to is to win every time I step on stage and they've helped me with that mindset of keeping that mindset super positive all the time and keeping my head strong, you know, stress-free, everything super chill, just get the job done every single day. Think about it every single, just one day at a time, complete the task every day. You know, don't think of two weeks away. Think of getting the today done. Shout out to uh, Mike and the uh, team at, um, on chain physique. So do you have a, a strong body part? What body part do you consider your strongest body part? Uh, I was, I would, I wouldn't say I have a strong, I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty well put together, man. Uh, evenly symmetrically, even all the way around. Like, um, I think my back can stand up next to a lot of, a lot of these guys in the sport. Um, I'm being slept on a lot. Uh, but I'm not a big name in the sport yet. You know, but I, they will find out soon. But I think my back stands out a lot. So I worked on a lot of chest, shoulders, try to try to um, let that up with my back, you know, so I can be more complete. So, okay. Um, do you have um, any sponsors? If yes, do you want to, you know, let, let us know who they are and maybe, you know, shout them out or something? No, I'm, I, have, I mean, I have a people that support me you know i'll put it that way i wouldn't say they necessarily are sponsors they're supporters you know anything i need they get it for me you know i got one of my best friends jamie my my friends trevon patrick like tyree like these are the guys that support me anything i need and ask they go get it like right then you know it's ne no necessarily sponsors it's just like hey you need anything i tell them what i need they go get it you know but i don't have any big sponsors or anything like that yet so Hopefully, but, I'll get it. So. Are, you, are you eyeing any uh, big brands that you would love to work with, you know, in the future? Is there any company that you have in mind that you, you know, would like to work with in the future? I, I like um, I like Evil Gen. Their products are really good. Uh, 
Redcon One products are really good to me. Um, I always shop with them. Um, I'm like really all over the place. I like trying out a lot of new things. I'm not set on like a, one brand. So I'm yeah. all, it's like you got hundreds of bread on the bread aisle, you know, like I'm going to try this out. Let me try this out. I mean, I haven't found my, my, Okay, so um, Evil Jane, um, Redcon One, if you all are watching, Emmanuel Hunter would love to work with you guys, so sign him up. Um, now let's get to the Arnold's, okay? Mm -hmm. um, there is this mentality that is synonymous with winners, you know, people who dominate any kind of sport, when they're coming in, it's like a, they have this killer instinct. It's do or die, you know, for them. They're mm -hmm. just coming to dominate. I want to know what is your mentality coming into this competition? Are you coming to do well or are you coming to kill everybody and go back home? That's, that's the mindset I always have. Like when I'm, I'm a very competitive person and I don't put myself out there as like, Hey, I'm going to beat this person, beat this person, beat this person. Anybody can get beat on any given day in this sport, you know, like, yeah, you look great, but like still like, you don't know what you're going to look like on the show day. Like, you're not judging yourself. You may think you look better than me. I may think I look better than you, but it's the fact you have to win the judges over. You have yeah. to you have to prove to the judges to let the judges know that you want to win. That's that's the name of the game. But now I like to dominate what I can. If it's in my lane, I dominate what's in my lane. I don't go into other people's places and try to dominate theirs. Like, but if you come to mind, I know for a fact you're playing my game. I'm gonna win. That's a good one. So um, where do you see yourself placing? Um, so um, before you answer this one, we have the Arnold's and we have the Boston Pro. I would love to touch on both because it's literally just a week apart. So where do you see yourself placing at the Arnold's and where do you see yourself placing at the Boston Pro? Because I think we have uh, nine people competing at the Arnold's yeah. and we have like lots of people competing at the Boston Pro. So where do you see yourself? Yes, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> where do you see yourself placing at the Arnold's and at Boston Pro? I would say, man, I have a really good shot of winning, you know, but these, I, I think um, Aaron Banks and Diago, are, they're really tough, man, and the other, guy, the other other six guys are not no scrubs. They're really good competitors, you know. So I, I, was, I had to say, I had to say, say myself, you know, I would have to say myself as, as winning the show, you know. I think, um, uh, and that's yeah. that's the mindset that I have, like, I can't say no man is better than me on that day. Like, hey, I'm doing my job. I think I'm going to win. And I know that I'm going to win, but these other guys ain't just going to hand it to me, you know? But are you going to take it from them or are you going to let them hand it to you? I mean, I'm, it's, it's pretty much me taking it from them because I think they have the mindset that I have. Like, hey, I'm not just going to give it to him. He just, he going to have to outwork me. He's going to have to outpose me. He's going to present, have to present his package. You better not present my package. That's how I and that's how I go about it. And that's how I look at it. Like, hey, I'm better than you today. Yeah. These so pre previous shows, that don't matter. You know, well, you're getting rejudged on on the day of the show. So I I have a good shot of winning the show, and I say these guys, they're not. I wouldn't say in the past, yeah, you're a bit better than me, but this is a whole new season. You know. So basically, what you're saying is, it's not going to be a walk in the park for anyone. You're just gonna you're coming to fight. Um, it's going to be a, a hustle. It's going to be a, a tussle. It's going to be have you, you're going to have to fight for it. It is. It's going to be a tug of war all day that day. Yeah, that's a good one. So um, we have, I think we have Aaron Banks, um, Bong Siok Choi, Ricardo Croce, Terence Theo, um, Darren Hunt, yourself, Daniel Leon, Diojo Montenegro, and Antoine uh, with the spoons. I mentioned, I think, nine names with yours included. Do you consider anyone a threat? Yeah. Um, Banks, of course. Banks, uh, Diago, um, I would say Weatherspoon, and um, what's this, that other guy? I can't think of his name. Um, Where is he from? The guy, I think it's Spain or Italy. Uh, Daniel Leon, Ricardo Croce? Uh, yeah, uh, Ricardo. R Ricardo, uh, Antonio Weatherspoon, Diago, uh, and Aaron Banks. 
those guys are like threats. You know, I look at them as threats. Like, hey, these guys can beat me if I'm not 100%. And do you consider yourself um, a threat to them? Oh, they know. They know for a fact I am. Like, I mean, I see these guys. They don't follow me on Instagram, but, I, like, you know how you watch your stories. They see your updates. So they're watching you. That's how I know that I'm a threat. And and a lot of guys been watching me here um, here soon here lately. Like I know y'all watching me. You know I said on my I said on my story all the time. I said it's free, like <laughs> it's free. Yeah. And of course, uh, Man's Physique Update is always posting your updates, and all of these guys follow Man's Physique Update, so they 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 see you. They know what's going on. Exactly. Yeah. So um, uh, you've mentioned a couple of names. Are those your top five? My top five, um, with yourself I, included, yeah. When I wouldn't say not in no particular order, um, me, Aaron, Diago, Weatherspoon, and um, Ricardo. So, Ricardo Croce, yourself, Aaron Bangs, Weatherspoon, and Diogo. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. So, um what would be like the the ultimate achievement for like your entire career if if you say okay i've done it like i've achieved this that and then i have done it all this is what i have achieved what would be the ultimate goal it's to be my thing is like i mean everybody's goal that's in it mostly everybody goal is to is to win the olympia mm -hmm. you know my thing is hey i want to win the arnold and and keep winning it, you know? That's the thing, and, and win multiple shows in the sport and be one of those guys that's in the top five every single year at Olympia. You know what I'm saying? I win, I win. I'm not going to be upset that I win, but my goal is to be that top five, top three guy every single year, you know? So my name is in that conversation to be with some of the greats, you know? I am i won't be a scrub. I'm not a pushover, but, hey, you got to beat me, you know? You're not going to find too many people that are put together. Um, that's going to have – that's going to have – that's that's what I check. Like, hey, if I'm going to win the honor, I win it every year. You know, if I'm going to be top three, top five at Olympia, that's what I'm going to do every single year. I want – Okay, so um, do you, like, um, have any numbers in mind? How many honors do you want to win? How many – uh, Olympias, you want to win? Uh, my my goal is is to win three. Three what? It's it, at the Arnold. I want to win three. You know that, that's the goal. I want to win three. I want to win. I want to win. If I could win uh, the Olympia, and you know what I'm saying, it's it's like I, I want to win one, but I'm not gonna be upset if I don't win. Like I said, I want to be. I want to be in that mix every single year, that top three. You know, I ain't going to be upset if I if I lose. Hey, that's a huge goal that everybody in the world in men's physique try to get to. You know, it's an invitation to get to the Arnold. It's already, yeah. a, it's already a pleasure to compete yeah. in it. Big you deal, know, yeah. Winning it, you know, like, you, you just won one of the biggest shows in the world. You know, you're a top contender now at, at the Olympia. You know, you're already a foot ahead of everybody, man, you know. How does it feel? How does it feel to be, for me, I say handpicked because literally the thousands of mass physique athletes who would be honored to uh, compete at the, you know, at the Arnold Classic. And some of the greats have won, you know, the Arnold Classic. We have uh, Sadiq, um, Brandon Hendrickson has won it, uh, Ryan Terry and Andre Ferguson has won it, uh, I think, three times. You know, how does it feel to be handpicked? literally to compete at when what, what message does it send to you like you know what what is so special that like you feel you were handpicked for this show i mean like when i got that email from them telling me hey you um you've been picked to compete at the uh the, the arnold classic i mean it just sent chills down my spine i was like oh man like they only picking 10 guys and it's thousands of us you know, they're giving me a chance. Like I can't I can't let them down. Like they give they're giving me a shot to prove that I'm one of the best. Why would I go in there and toy with them and embarrass myself, embarrass them for selecting me out of the thousands of men's physique guys? And 
I shoot myself in the foot. You know, I'm I'm there to win. I'm there to put on the show. I'm I'm there to show them that why they picked me. How um how hungry are you for the show? How hungry are you? Let's oh, say from one to ten. Man, it's a ten. Like I like it, it's I I can't leave any stone unturned. Like anything off school is just in my way. I have to deal with it right then. You know, like I'm hungry to win. Like getting, I can't see myself getting second at this show. I, I, I speak it to existence. I see it every single day. I I don't see myself losing. And if it does, and if it does happen, you gotta you gotta face me again the following week. You gotta face me again the following week. Like you gonna have to you gonna have to go up against me until I get one. <laughs> you know, and if I get one. I may still keep going. You know, that's that's the way that I look at it. Like, yeah, let's talk about. You have to see me a lot. You know, and now I get get my critiques and I go back to the drawing boys. Hey, this is what I need to improve on. You know? Okay. So let's talk about um the Boston Pro because I don't think we would have to, you know, do this again, maybe because you it will be a tight schedule for you. Literally you're going to the next show after the next show, you know. Yeah. So what are I mean, your expectations for the Boston Pro? And that's the same expectations as for the Boston Pro is is to win. You know, you're going up against the same guys, probably the same judging panel. Probably, you know, yeah. I, if I win this, if I win at the Arnold, when I win at the Arnold, I'm going to have to go up against these same guys again. So I got to go five more days, you know, to dial in again to compete against the same judging panel to compete against the same guys, you know. How would you feel if you won the Arnolds? Oh, man, dude, it's be on cloud 10, dude. <laughs> it's, it's great. Like I'll be up, I'll be in the conversation with Sadiq, Brandon, Ar and and Andre. You know, and, literally. And, like these guys are the the best guys are in the in the sport. Now I'm next to these guys. Like when you talk to when you talk about these guys, my name are in that conversation. Like I mean, that's that's ideal of when you want to compete in men's physique at a pro level. Like I I win. I I'm one of the elite now. Now, now people fear me to compete against me when they see my name on that list. That's true. Is there anyone you look up to, like, you know, in men's physique, past uh, and present? Yeah. Uh, Jeremy Potvin uh, is a good uh, mentor to me. We talk we talk all the time. Um, Jeremy Potvin, I talk to, um, talk to Kyron a lot. Um, those two guys I talk to the most. Um, everybody else, I mean, it's just a conversation even uh, here and there. Um, one of my best friends uh, that's in the sport, uh, Rashad Enlighten, um, he's a guy that I talk to every single day. Like, he helps me out a lot mentally. Every every single day we talk about, he checks on me every single day. It's not, it don't skip a beat. It's every morning, every night he call me, make sure I'm good. So that's- I, I, I remember uh, Rashad from last year's, uh, Olympia. Yeah, he got in. He was in Olympia in 2020. Uh, 2020, sorry, 2020, yeah. and he caused a bit of stir on social media even before the show. Yeah, and we covered it on yeah, Man's Physique Update. So yeah, shout out to Rashad as well. Um, what message do you have for you know the guys competing with you? What do you have to tell? What do you? Let's say you are, you are literally in front of them. What message do you have for them heading into the show? I uh, hope they drink their whole milk uh, the night before the show. Um, that's all I would have to tell them. Like, and make sure you eat your cereal. Anything dealing with dairy, I need you to be drinking that beforehand. I'm a jokester, man. Like, I, I toy around. <laughs> and uh, uh, bring that A game. Don't don't tell me if I win. When I win, I don't want you to be like, I was off. Don't do that. No, that's, that's a coward, you know? Yeah. You came to this show. You bring your best. Don't be like, I was off today. I was off. No, you wasn't. I beat you. We go up against, up against each other next week. Don't say you you ain't not gonna be off two weeks in a row. And I beat you again. Like, no, be fair and square. Cause if you beat me, bro, you just beat me that day. You were better than me today. Don't be a sore loser, you know? That's true. Um, I will ask you um my very final question. I'm gonna give the audience maybe three people, two people. Uh, the opportunity to, to maybe also ask you, you know, a couple questions if they have any. Um, the last one is, what message do you have for, 
your supporters and for your fans and people watching you, what message do you have for them? What should they expect from you at the Arnolds and at the Boston? Bro. Um, to expect the best, the best me, like hold me, hold me accountable for everything. Hold me accountable. Uh, have high, very high expectations for me. You know, um, hold me very high. Like, don't be like, it's okay. No, you go there, you win. That's what we're here for. That's why we're supporting you because we have faith in you to to compete at this at the biggest stage in the world. Like, you got the shot. Don't waste it. They gave you a shot. Don't waste it. So those are my, my supporters and the fans that I have always tell me, hey, you got what it takes. They gave you a shot. Now do it. Prove everybody. Prove, prove us right. You know, because we, we talk a big game about you. Prove us right. You know, those are my fans and my friends, family. Always tell me, hey, you're gonna be you're gonna be one of the top dogs in this sport. Prove us right. Okay. All right. So guys, if you're watching and you have a question, just uh, request a video uh, request right now. I'm gonna put you on so you can ask the big man um, a question if you have any. Or you can just leave it in the comments, and I'm gonna read it out. So if you have any question, any question at all for the big man, let me know. He said, um, 19 Alex underscore Von 14 said, what's that game, bro? What's game, what, game is, what game are you talking about, bro? Oh, that's my boy Trevon. He said, talk that game, bro. Oh, talk. Oh, sorry. Talk that game. Good, 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 good. I like what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, Ready? and... Uh yes, repping two five six Bama built. Um, someone said, "Okay, JS." He said, "What? Um, what got you into competing?" Um, I lost. I actually lost a bet at the gym. Um, and he, one of my friend Patrick, uh, back in twenty seventeen, asked me. He said, uh, "How much you think you can bench press?" I said, "Well, I don't know. I never maxed out." So we tried a weight. I got it. We tried another weight. And he said, can you get this? And I didn't get it. So I, he said, all right, I'll coach you for your next show or your, the, the show that's, the first show that's coming up. So he um, wrote out a plan for my father plan. I competed in, in two weeks, and I won the overall <laughs> at that show, you know. And then I uh, went into another show, and I got nationally qualified. And then I took a whole year off to just grow. I wanted to learn more about the sport because I didn't know anything. You know, um, so he coached me for that when I went in there and I got sacked in my class. Uh, I got beat by one of uh, one of Ryan Hinton's guys, my old coach. So I said, man, if I can't beat these guys, I must join them. So I joined <laughs> them and I went pro the next year with the same with with that coach, you know. And that's how it that started. Good one. Um, the So K Kuyat Ku. Yeah, to you, he said, um, I think that's uh, Coach Omar's brother. Mm -hmm. He said, who is your top five? Other? I think you, you already answered, but he was probably not on. So if you if you don't mind recapping that. Um, like I said, I said, um, no, no, um, no order here. Uh, me, Aaron Banks, Diago, um, Ricardo, Croce, and Weatherspoon. Good one. And um, Frank says, how is the current physique looking, E-man? Um, hey, I'm on track. Should we, should we expect an update soon? Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm going um, to post on Monday. So, Frank, you heard it here first. He's going to post on Monday. Follow him if you want to see what he is he's looking like on Monday. Monday is, like, literally still two weeks. Is, that, yeah. is it still two weeks? Yeah, yeah, still two weeks to the show. Yeah, so Frank, if you want to see his update, definitely follow him, and then you, okay. you're going to get that on Monday. And JS says, what separates you from the other IFBB pros, and um, what do you think stands out the most about you? Well, I think my thing was um, it was the support system. I didn't have a lot of support system last year, and this year I have a lot of support. Um, and support can go a long way, but some of these countries, uh, like Brazil, for instance, like 
bodybuilding is like their football. Like, it's like their NFL uh -huh. for them. So they have their whole country behind us, man. Like all I need is five or six people to, to support me. <laughs> And I'm good. That's going to give me the feel I need to get. Like, that's all I need. And yeah, I mean, it's tough doing it by yourself. But what separates me from anybody else, if I have somebody else that has hope with me, that's fuel for me. You know, that's that, that's that's what stands out with me. Like, I have people on my side. Last year, I don't think I had a lot of people on my side. But this year, I have a, have a lot of people on my side. And it's going to separate me. That's all I needed for my fuel to separate me from the other athletes. That's good. And um, Alex says, what are you doing differently this year to compete? Um, I'm stress-free. <laughs> I don't have to worry about anything, Trevon. Like, y'all guys really take care of me, bro, and I really appreciate that from y'all. Right. My boys, some of my top supporters. Okay, so two underscore can underscore Sam says, what is your current weight? I think that will be the last question. <laughs> what is your current weight? This morning I weighed. Um, I think I weighed. I had to check. I heard it written it down. This morning I weighed one eighty nine. I weighed one eighty nine this morning. I started. My, that too. Yeah, I started my prep off. I was at uh, two fifteen, and I, I'm down two weeks out. I'm at one eighty nine. So we haven't pulled water yet. I'm still drinking a lot of water. Uh, still eating a lot of food. Um, so. I'm going to lose, when they start taking my food away, I'm probably going to lose about six or pounds. And I'm looking I'm great, it. looking great right now. So, like, six, I've seven, seen it. You yeah. are looking mad. You're looking crazy, bro. Like, yeah. the seven. vascularity is on a different level. Like, fuck, like, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, six or seven more pounds off what I have now is going to be crazy. Yeah. And also, um, um, compared your, comparing your weight now to previous weights, what do you think? Man, dude, last year I was probably around 190, 192. I think my lowest was like 188 at one of my shows. And I'm already down and I'm bigger. Like I put on a lot of size uh, in the off season. And now, like, man, it's what's crazy is I look better now. I look better last week and the previous week better than I did on stage last year. And I was getting fourth and fifth at these big shows, you know. That's that's how I that, that's why I think I separate myself from a lot of these people. Like, I've I've evolved. I've moved with the sport. I, like evolution. I'm a whole different person physique wise from last year. And I was beating a lot of these guys at eighty percent, you know. And now that I'm coming back, I I, I think dang near going to be a hundred percent for these shows. It's going to be hard to even, like, put me second. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's a win-win situation. It's a die-or-die die situation. It's a do-or-do do situation. It is. That's dope. That's dope. I'm not going to take any more questions. Thank you so much, Emmanuel, for coming on. And, you know, we always link up. So um, yeah. if I have any questions, definitely I'm going to uh, come into your inbox and, you know, ask you those questions thank you so much for joining us i'm going to share this onto the page so anyone who missed the live can you know review it and good luck it's just two weeks out from uh, the owl notes do you do you need the luck oh man wish me the best luck man you know like because uh, i mean i wish the best luck for everybody else at the show as well man like these guys work their tail off. Like, I'm not the only one just working. These other nine guys are working their tail off. So I, sal I salute those guys too, man. Y'all working hard. Just know to just bring your A game because I, I'm not I'm not coming in second, you know. You know, I'm not – I don't – I refuse, you know. And that's the thing. Like, you have to have that type of mentality when you're competing in bodybuilding because now you're, you're – at your mind work, your body will follow. 100%. So you, have that type of energy like if you don't have big energy people like me Aaron Baines Diago people with high energy in this sport will, will wash you right off the stage and like it's no it's no second ifs or but about it like hey I was off it no you wasn't we smoked you that's yeah. what happened yeah. like you gotta bring it you need to come prepared you have to be prepared because these top guys are gonna come prepared you compete against number two and three in the world these guys ain't no scrubs you knew no. that when you got put on that list they gave you enough time. <laughs> true, true, true. 
So you heard it here first. He refuses to place second. So you all know what that means. You already know what that means. So thank you so much, Emmanuel, for coming on. Thank you so much for doing this with us. Man's Physique Update is extremely grateful to have you. And we wish you the very, very best. And as usual, we're going to be following you very closely uh, leading to the Arnolds and also... Let's, let's just tackle the Arnold's first, and then we'll talk about the Boston Pro later. Yes, sir, man. I so appreciate good luck, and thank you so much for coming on. We'll definitely catch you on another time. Have a good one, bro. All thank right, you man. so much. I'll see you. All right, peace.